presentation on what it will look like on both the teacher and the student screen. Left side's the teacher, right side is the student. So as I slide over into the Jamboard within Nearpod, it will auto-populate for some students um, into their screen. So if not, you have that blue button you can click on. Really quickly, I'm just going to change this over to my different account so that you can see in the student account, they do not have any editing features. In the teacher account, you do have to click on it to open it up, it appears. right? So in the teacher mode, I have all the editing tools. In the student mode, I do not. That's because in the share settings, I have it set up with anyone on the internet with this link can view. right? So that's super important. Set it to view only. And then when it populates in there, they cannot change the lesson or the slides. So once I do that, I can then use any of the tools according to my preference to uh, answer the problem or demonstrate to my students. So in this case, I would want to teach them and go through the process to show them that C is less than negative four. And as you see, when I write, you can see there's a slight delay on the screen. So it might take you some time to get used to that. It might be helpful if you are logged into um, Nearpod as a student so you can kind of see that delay and time your speaking to the delay. I think I've seen that there is a little bit more delay when I use the text box. Um, then when I use the writing tool, so just kind of play around with it and see and make sure you're monitoring that progress. So now when I change slides, so if I prep my slides ahead of time, it does not automatically change on my students end. So if I want my students to change slides with me, I would have to advise them go to slide number two at the top. Give me a thumbs up in your computer screens um, in your cameras to let me know that you're there and ready some kind of cue to know that and some other kind of alert system for them to show you if they don't know how to change screens. So this is one option. You can prep all of your examples in one Jamboard. The other option is that you can make multiple Jamboards for each example and then just create a new slide in Nearpod for each example and each Jamboard. Uh, that's a little bit more work but if you uh, are not confident in your students ability to transition and you want to um, prevent some chaos or you want to build to that level as the year goes on you can do that. So I'm just going to slide through a couple of um, my Jamboards so you can see all I'm doing here is I'm inserting pictures into Jamboard as backgrounds and then I plan to just write over them or you can use the display to show certain things on screen. Um, he, in this case, I actually had this set up before where this is just to give you an idea that you can do drag and drop. So let's say you put a map and famous monuments as little pictures. You can then drag things over um, as a way to demonstrate. I should have been on screen for you to see for the students for that. So whatever I do on my board, the students can see on their board. Uh, you can put in number lines. So the opportunities are endless of what you can do within the Jamboard. One thing to note though is if you are going to be using the same Jamboard for multiple live lessons, you do have to clear your boards. There are a few notes in the slide afterwards of alternative options you can do to address this need for a clean slate each time you enter in. Whatever you do, just don't hit clear frame. If I clear frame, it actually deletes the whole slide. So that's not a method to clear it for the next class. You actually have to go um, and erase it by hand. So that's the basics of it. That's what it would look like. Again, the students have to kind of slide through with you and you have to do a check to make sure they're in it. Otherwise, they won't see what you're presenting. So the work around, around that is to create instead of uh, one Jamboard with multiple slides, you create multiple Jamboards with one slide only. And then again, make sure it's view only for the students. I hope you enjoyed this and find it helpful. Uh, continue on to the end and share some feedback in the Collaborate Board. Thank you.